اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم و صلی الله علی سیدنا و نبینا محمد و آله الطیبین الطاهرین Death, the debtor, the one who gives someone else something when they want him, when they borrow him, is one of the valuable things, valuable deeds in Islamic cultures, in the teachings of Ahlul Bayt. Because of this, our messengers, peace be upon him, says, وَمَنْ أَقْرَزَ أَخَاهُ Muslim. كان له بكل درهم أقرزه وزن جبل أهد من جبال رزوي حسنات The one who debt the needy anything for any درهم for the money any درهم of the money which he has give which he has given to the needy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide him with many valuable, much valuable reward as amount of the month of Uhud. You know, for any dirham, for any penny, for any, you know, little things that he has given to the needy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward him, will reward him with the great and valuable things. like the mountain. So that thing is very important and valuable. Then, وَإِنْ رَفِقَ بِهِ فِي تَلَبِهِ تَعْدِي بِهِ عَلَى السِّرَاتِ كَالْبَرْقِ الْخَاطِفِ اللَّعْمِهِ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابِ وَلَا عَزَابِ So, the one who has borrowed something from you, he tried to give it back to you. But he is very needy, he is in a very bad condition, and he is not able to give it back to you. Then, what you will do? It is better, you know, you be kind to him. If you do so, if you be kind to him, our Prophet says, If you be kind to him, our Prophet says, تعدي به على السرات كالبرق الخاطف اللعمة. He will be able to pass the Sirat bridge in the day of Qiyamah very easily and very soon as the lighting. ولا أزاب. And he will not be punished in the day of Qiyamah. Why? Because he was kind to the one who has borrowed from him. Because He was kind. He showed mercy to the needy, the believers who were needy. So Allah in this day will show to him the mercy because in the past he has shown mercy to the needy. And our Prophet continues that, وَمَنْ شَكَا إِلَيْهِ أَخُوهُ الْمُسْلِمْ فَلَمْ يَقْرِزْهُ حرم الله عز وجل عليه الجنة يوم يجزي المحسنين. But there is sometimes the needy, the believer, the believer who needs money or something, come to you, borrow, come to you, ask you something, begging sometimes. And you can pay him something, you can give him. And you know that if you give it to him, he will give it back to you. But you refuse to help, refuse helping. So in this case, our Prophet says, if you do not pay and if you refuse, Allah will forbidden you, forbidden, Allah will forbid you enter the heaven. So entrance to heaven will be forbidden for you if you <clears throat> have done so. In the day that the believers need to go heaven, in the days that you need to be saved, because in the day of the worldly life in the world, you didn't show mercy, so you will not deserve to be shown mercy. In our narrations, it is said that three groups of peoples are like thieves. 
those who hasn't pay back zakat those who <coughs> who do not give zakat pay zakat they are among the people who do hapsul huquq and those who do not give back do not pay their women their wives dowry dowry mahriya and those who do not deb the needy also these three groups are classified among the people who habasa huquqan an ghayrihi wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammad wa alihi tahirin